Hey guys, what's up? This is Wholesome Joe, and I thought I would do a quick video while I'm still finishing up the editing on my Arduino Proton Pack tutorial videos. I still have a little bit to do. Um, those will be up shortly, but until uh, in the meantime, here is a quick video about what I think is going to be my next project. So, um, in one of the other videos, I showed you a little teaser of this guy here, which is the spinning uh, afterlife cyclotron lights that I said I was going to include in the tutorial. Now, and I'm still going to do that. However, now that I have this shell that I got from my friend uh, who is known in the Ghostbusters prop making community as Taco Belly. A lot of you have probably used his pop mechanisms, probably have bought some of his spirit uh, mod spirit pack mods that he sells. Um, he's an awesome dude. He uh, lives very close to me and we are friends. So like he uh, hooks me up sometimes. So thanks to him for hooking me up with this shell that I'm going to now, I think, be turning into a Ghostbusters Afterlife pack. Now, I know what you're thinking. There's already a lot of people building Ghostbusters Afterlife packs, and this is indeed true. However, I am not going to be building the Spengler Phoebe pack that everyone else is building. No. I am going to be building the Ghostbusters 2 OG Afterlife pack. Now, you, if you haven't seen the movie, which you should do so if you have not already, everything I, that I'm about to say is going to be a spoiler, and I will not feel bad because you should have already seen it by now. Um, at the very end of Ghostbusters Afterlife, the original Ghostbusters join in to save the day, and they're wearing their uh, flight suits, and they are decked out in proton packs. The proton packs that they are wearing are not the same as the ones that Phoebe has. Uh in the fact that they are indeed Ghostbusters 2 proton packs. But those Ghostbusters 2 proton packs, and you know they're Ghostbusters 2 because they have the Ghostbusters 2 Spectra Strip ribbon cable instead of the rainbow ribbon cable that the GB1 pack has, like so. And they also, however, have the two new switches. Uh, one of them is on the iron arm, and the, I believe the other one is underneath the crank box, but I need to look and make sure. Um, as well as the spinning cyclotron light. So I thought, since I was going to do a tutorial on the spinning cyclotron light anyway, and now that I have this new pack to work on, I was going to ask you, people of the internet, if you would be interested in seeing a tutorial on how to actually finish a 3D printed proton pack. Because I know a lot of people are making them. Um, especially those people who are in the uh, 3D printed Ghostbusters props group with me. Um, there's a lot of good information there. Uh, Quentin Michaels has created some of the best 3D printed uh, files to build a proton pack that currently exist. And uh, my friend Taco Belly uh, is one of the people who contributes to that group. You've probably used his pop mechanism or you might have bought some of his Spirit Halloween uh, Proton Pack modifications. He's got a cyclotron that's really cool. And he also makes uh, smoke kits if you want to make your Spirit or Walmart uh, pack smoke. You can go to his stuff at, I think it's www.tacobelly.com. Just a quick plug for him since he did hook me up with this shell. So if you're in need of a smoke kit or a um, some modifications for your Spirit Pack, he has the hookup for you. So... With all that being said, what do you think? Should I do a tutorial about how to finish one of these shells along with doing the cyclotron lights? Let me know in the comments below. 